Hey, what's up guys? It's Marf and welcome back to a another video. Today is going to be a bit of a different one. I wanted to do a tutorial video to show you guys how to turn your PS4 controller into a Wiimote for the Dolphin emulator. Now, if you don't know what the Dolphin emulator is, it is the best emulator for GameCube and Wii. And if you know me, you know, I love racing games and the Wii had some amazing racing games. I used to have a Wii and I loved playing games like Speed Racer and Excitebots and all these games you see here on my list here. Um, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to do videos with gameplay of these soon. I'm trying to fix a stuttering issue, but regardless, today I wanted to show you guys how to turn your PS4 controller uh, into a Wiimote, and I know that sounds really weird, but the Wiimote um, had an accelerometer, which uh, the Wii took advantage of and the developers took advantage of to put a lot of motion controls into, and obviously you can't really emulate that with anything that doesn't have motion controls or like an accelerometer. However, the PS4 controller has an accelerometer, and uh, I worked for a while uh, to map that to a Wiimote and I actually figured it out and I wanted to share it with you guys today. So there are, uh, there are gonna be two programs that you're gonna need. The first is obviously you're gonna need Dolphin emulator. However, um, I'm using version 9703 of the 5.0 revision of Dolphin emulator because, and if I'll, I'll scroll down here to the next page. And uh, here on 9705, you could see they did something to the tilt swing orientation data using matrix math. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> um, all I know is that that messed up whatever method I'm using. And uh, so for all the versions beyond that, this method is broken. So the latest version that I can use is the 9703 method or the 9703 version. So that's the version that you're gonna need if you want this uh, method to work. Now, the other program you're gonna need is DS for Windows. This is the best way to emulate a th uh, Xbox 360 controller on Windows using a PS4 controller. And this is how we're gonna map the PS4's accelerometer to all of our controls and whatnot. So all you have to do is download these pr uh, two programs. The setup should be fairly simple, but I wanted to show you guys the setup inside the programs themselves. So we're gonna open up uh, DS for Windows here. And as you can see, I have my PS4 controller connected through USB. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the profile that I'm using. Of course, I named it Yeet because why not? And uh, the most important uh, controls here are the gyro controls. Now, obviously, you want to click use for controls. Um, and uh, the tilt up, down, left, and right, we are going to assign to the Xbox 360 stick here on the right side. And uh, yeah, you can screenshot my controls here so you can um, more easily follow along instead of, you know, rushing through the video. And uh, the only other method, or the, I'm sorry, the only other control that I touched was the touchpad control. I, I like to use it as a mouse, so instead of having to reach over to my mouse and keyboard when I'm relaxing playing a Wii game, I can just close it and select my games using the touchpad, which is a really neat feature. But like I said, the most important thing, obviously, is the gyro you want to use for controls and then map it to the Xbox 360 right stick. So the next uh, thing we have to do to set up is go into Dolphin and go into the controllers menu, and then with the Wii and uh, we remote one excuse me you want to use a emulated Wiimote and then we'll just configure it here um, one setting that you want to make sure is on is the sideways Wiimote setting in the bottom right here that's very important um, and then the buttons you can just screenshot and assign them they're fairly straightforward so a b um, goes to the x and the circle uh, button on the ps4 controller respectively now one and two i i put as triggers because that more accurately represents a normal racing game in my opinion so like what you would normally find on like an xbox or a playstation game and the uh, minus and plus button i just put as the option and the share button uh, on the ps4 controller now the d-pad is, is very self-explanatory just up down left and right whatnot and uh, what the most important thing is, is the motion controls and IR here. Now, um, for uh, the swing here, this is the most important thing. I know it's kind of weird for us to be mapping it to the swing, but whatever thing is happening in version 9703, the swing is either broken or it's like perfectly functional to specifically a PS4 controller for some reason. But yeah, we won't actually be using tilt controls. We will be using swing controls. So um, I'm gonna pick up my PS4 controller here. And uh, basically, as you can see, when I'm moving my PS4 controller, well, you can't see me moving it, but I'm tilting it up and down and whatnot, and you can see it's highlighting what's going on. And so all you need to do is click on the uh, respective control here and then just trigger that option um, on your controller. So for up, I'm gonna click this, and then on the right stick of the PS4 controller, I'm gonna move it up, and then you can do that for the rest of them here. And uh, yeah, that'll basically do it for the swing controls for uh, the extension. You don't need to do anything because you don't, you don't need an extension here. 
Um, now, unfortunately, I couldn't get any rumble to work, but I think that's just an issue with DS4 Windows and uh, Dolphin kind of interacting with each other. But other than that, um, that will basically do it in how to make your PS4 controller a Wiimote in Dolphin. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut to some gameplay here and show you guys what I mean. All right, guys, so here I am in Speed Racer with the uh, controller set up and everything like that. So I'm going to click Begin Race or uh, hit the trigger. I'll rev up here and so the two button works and everything like that and as you can see I'm off to the races here and everything seems to be working fine. Now getting tilt controls like that to be set up is not really that hard especially with like an Xbox 360 controller but the most important thing is that all the tilt functions work so if I want to shunt I can shove my controller left and right and that works normally and everything like that and if I wanted to jump I can do that as well all perfectly fine if I wanted to do like uh, a spin I can do that as well it's not the perfect setup of course I mean it isn't a uh, you know an actual Wiimote so there are going to be issues like uh, for instance if you raise your controller up it'll kind of freak out like this as you can see it won't know what to do um, but if you kind of hold it uh, and at a like kind of 90 degree angle it works just fine and you know it works like a, a real Wiimote so um yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. See ya.